The keynote's all about cloud native applications and why you should care, who's going to use them, and how does the foundation make them happen. Maybe you're here to hear about Kubernetes and Prometheus, but did you know there are now nine projects in the foundation? My keynote's all about cloud native computing and the cloud native foundation. We've got 1,500 developers coming to Berlin to find out about this, and I'll be telling them what the foundation does, what kind of applications they can build, and about the nine projects that we now have, not just Kubernetes, but also Prometheus, and recently Container D, RKT, gRPC, and much more. It's a very exciting time for cloud native computing, because now we have almost a full portfolio of tools for building these projects. So the cloud native foundation is, of course, focused on cloud native applications, so we will have a collection of projects that are relevant to solving that problem, that are of a high quality, moving very quickly. But you may ask, how can we promise high quality? How can we make sure they move quickly? And this is where one of the other key differences arises. We don't select projects based on them fitting into an architecture that we've designed. We put projects first. We don't interfere with how they run. We simply encourage them to interoperate with one another. This means that we can have a much more flexible, fast-moving portfolio than anyone has done before. Cloud Native is all about choice, automation, and freedom. You can run Cloud Native apps anywhere. So you could run them on Amazon. You could run them on Azure. You could run them on Google. You could run them on your own machines and still benefit from the scalability and automation properties that we're looking for in a modern containerized microservices deployment. Well, ContainerD is an outstanding project. It's part of Docker, and it represents an alignment in the industry between Docker and other orchestration tools like Kubernetes and, I hope, in the future, Amazon, Mesosphere, and so on. RKT is an alternative implementation produced originally by CoreOS. It shows that with the foundation, we can have different implementations of containers which interoperate with the orchestrators that you want to use. For developers and customers, this means you have choice of what stacks you want to build and how your application is going to work, which is extremely powerful. It gives you more use cases you can support.